or building our community so there's a place for them to be is very important. A place for um, people to come and kind of maintain that community becomes very important. Um, so that you are building an institution of sorts and while there are disadvantages to that, there are also huge advantages, I think, to having that kind of persistent presence, the continuing presence. In March 2003, the war started, and I was uh, with Fran and, and Nancy and others uh, when we were arrested at uh, Pat Toomey's office. One of the wonderful, one of the wonderful actions was uh, the marvelous full-scale photographs of the servicemen who had, and women who had died, and we put them on 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 uh, sticks and big posters with many, and walked especially in the south side of Easton, which was a, a place where many persons were leaving from and so on, and got into conversations with, with householders as we walked along. I mean, that, that was a, a, a worthwhile activity. Um, well, all of, the, all of the buttons and all of the literature, you know, f felt very good. You know, um, all of these looked like, um, as some Christians say, outward signs of an inward grace. Actually, in Bucks County, which is a little funny, too, because mm -hmm. a lot of what we do, you know, is working on congressional issues, and Dent is here, and Murphy is our person. Right. And Murphy's a relatively good guy, right? I mean, well, he was a veteran. And he's a Democrat, and but his vote, voting record is significantly better than Dent's. Right. But, you know, a lot of the issues we've gone to about, he's not on the high list of swing <laughs> right. possible swing voters, even in that kind of situation. So, so this is. Uh, the logs are sitting in the parking lot. Well, the Poco was founded in the middle of the Vietnam War in 1965. Um, I wasn't even living in this area at that time. But my understanding is that many, um, there, had been a, some, there were some groups before that, some peace organizations that were active, a Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. And of course, the Quakers, I think, were doing different things. But there was this founding meeting at Kirkridge Retreat Center up on the mountain, and that's how we came up with Lehigh Pocono Committee of Concern, because there were people from the some Stroudsburg area, and then a lot of people from the Lehigh Valley. And then when the staff thing opened at Lapoco, I decided that that's what I really wanted to do, and been doing it ever since, 1974. And I started looking into uh, the philosophy of Gandhi and nonviolent action and uh, non cooperation, uh, uh, things like that. And um, less than a year later, I ran into Lapoco at this music festival that they had an information table set up at. And uh, this was all the run up to the current Iraq war, um, which I felt was r wrong. And uh, so I got more involved, and they had a film series, and that also interested me. So I started attending that, and now I kind of run that. If if I'm if I'm not um, stable inside, I can't be very effective uh, outside. And I think as I get older, <laughs> it becomes even more so. Uh, I I'm less uh, aggravated by uh, some of the letters to the editor and, and so forth, and some of the um, hate, hate mongering and so forth, and thinking, oh, this, this too will pass if we can just, and, and, and not just in a simplistic love everybody, but uh, the fact is that um, there is enough love and attention to go around, and people just haven't found their way to it. Something that, something that I try to remember is Gandhi's advice to, I think he said, be the peace that you want to see established. A big concern is having people who are active, um, what to do with their anger, because <laughs> they have a lot of anger, you know, and their anger, and, and, how, and helping us all realize that that's not going to probably get us many converts if we're kind of splattering our anger around. But certainly when we hold vigils, which people have held dozens, hundreds of vigils locally um, around the time of th these last wars we've been part of, 
and um, it's not happening so much now, but there are many times when people yell not very nice things at you. On Thursdays, I stand out there for about an hour, uh, peace vigil. It's nice, I mean, it's a chance to get to see some people that you don't always see. You see them at the vigil and you get to talk to them. Um, you're taking a public stand, which um, to me now, having done this for so long, doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but uh, when I talk to some people who aren't involved in things like this, um, to stand out there for an hour sometimes seems like a great thing. Um, and to get called, you know, hippies and whatnot. It, it, it does. I guess you could say the level of enthusiasm fluctuates. Uh, the, the relation of hope to discouragement fluctuates. But uh, there's a lot of support too, you know, thumbs up, and, and, and that, that's the neat thing, and that's the, when you take the long arc, uh, the long view of things, and you look at that, um, when the war first started, uh, lots of middle fingers and uh, thumbs down, that sort of thing. Uh, the laying on of the horn, the, the sustained blast, which is the, the negative, I learned that's the negative, the toot 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 is the positive, and there are more toot toot toots now, you know, as the time has gone on. Um, and then the one finger salute is turned into a two finger salute, and, and that's, uh, so that's good. Yes, I've been arrested and put in, in, the, in Allentown, and uh, with the 11 of us, we sat in, in the previous congressman's office not too many years ago. In that um, four or five hours that we were in Pat Toomey's office, um, the office manager, Maury Pulley is his name, he uh, was the person that we talked to most, and he went through a wide range of emotions. He was confused. Why don't you leave? I told you he's not coming. Um, just go. We've heard your complaint, and we'll tell the congressperson when he gets in. Uh, confusion to anger uh, to um, bargaining with us to uh, humor and uh, the bathroom's back here and you know appeasement uh, and uh, there's the water cooler but at five o'clock you're gonna have to leave uh, and that was fascinating and then at five o'clock when the our office closed uh, we didn't leave, and uh, the police came and arrested us. And as we were being let out, I swear I saw a tear in his eye. Well, it was kind of charming in that uh, Edith Scott and I were put in the back of the police car, and Edith's concern was, do we have to tell our age? <laughs> they had us with ankle, uh, ankle irons around our little chains f to the floor. Yeah. The, the presence of Lapoco even, I think, I think is something constructive. And uh, Gandhi claimed that 80% of the peacemakers' work ought to be constructive. 20% can be confrontational. We have a peace camp each summer, which we've been doing since 1990. And so um, it's been a way to connect with, um, with children. They love it. <laughs> And the parents and the teenagers who are involved love it. And um, it, it's a small effort in a lot of ways, but it's a huge effort that, because um, it only lasts a week, it's three hours for five days uh, each year. But at the same time, that kind of um, historical pattern of building that each summer has really um, been quite powerful, I think, in the community. And you can never judge ahead of time what activity will click or not, and you just keep on doing it. <laughs> it didn't stop the war, but I think maybe that night he went home and thought about things a little bit deeper than maybe he was. Uh, if people are willing to go to that length to make a point, um, take a stand or a sit, as it was, uh, I don't know. So, And in every other arrest <laughs> since then, uh, I've had, there's been moments that have validated the whole thing for me. Hello, Lepoko? 
Hello? A little bit. I'm in the middle of it. We're doing a, probably in a half an hour or so. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.